Powered Exoskeleton Finale, two South Korean teams from Angel Robotics, Switzerland and the United States of America, all in this finale to Cyberthon 2020. This promises to be a fantastic shootout for the gold, silver and bronze. Can anybody stop the Koreans dominating this finale to what has been an amazing 48 hours of competition? We have a male and a female pilot from the Angel Robotics team. This is Kim from Angel Robotics. Robotics won to get the action underway. And look at the motivation from the team. Listen to them pushing more ready. And Hamey, this is a determined team to take the gold with a very explosive and dynamic fast start. This is Silke Pan for Switzerland, who really do need to perform to their best to stop South Korea taking a, a clean sweep of gold and silver. Yes, Nick, these first two pilots that we saw here were actually in the competition four years ago, so it's very cool to see them back again and see how much better they have gotten at working with their exoskeletons. That's a great point that you made, Kami, because uh, Silke was four back in uh, 2016. She's determined to get onto the medals, into the podium positions, and she's the early leader. Already 15 points for a successful execution of class number one. There it Let's is. Let's go to okay. IMT Robotic from the United States of America. This is Mark Daniel looking for his first green light and point score. 15 for the correct execution of task number one sit and stand. Yeah, Mark was also one of the competitors uh, four years ago, so I think these are the three that are remaining from the last edition of the Cybathlon. Absolutely right. And uh, Mark, who uh, took the silver uh, four years ago, gets off to a good start. Now, Angel Robotics number two team, and this is uh, Lee, the female competitor, and uh, she is really moving along at a rapid pace. Look at the clock here, Amy. She's at task number three with 143 on the clock and a perfect score of 29 points. So the South Koreans are both in excellent form here. Here's the second of the Angel Robotics. This is Team Robotics Team 1. Again, climbing the stairs with amazing speed. Yeah, here is very impressive also to see that he's actually taking one step after the other. A lot of other exoskeletons, if you will see, will bring both feet into the same step before taking the next one. And he is the leader, Angel Robotics Team 1. It is Kim jong uk that leads. Perfect score, 45, but look at the clock. This is remarkably quick. Two minutes 20 on the clock, and he's already coming the backside of the stairs and heading to the penultimate task, which, of course, is the tilted path. This will take some beating. Now, here's Silke Pan for Switzerland. She's just 10 seconds behind Hamy, but she, too, working so effectively on the stairs, very quick, but she needs to find a little more time. Yeah, she has very special techniques also. You saw that she didn't transition to walking when she got to the top of the stairs. She actually just was able to work her way to the going downstairs, and she has this technique of going backwards, um, which is a lot more stable when going down the stairs. And she does it so skillfully. Now, this is Angel Robotics Team 2. This is Lee, the female pilot. She's 35 seconds off the pace, but still, perfect score in all three of her tasks. She's just coming to the end of the stairs, which is task four, before moving on to the tilted path. But look at this from Kim, the leader, and coming into the sixth and final task. There he looks to open the door, go through that doorway, and then down to end the challenge. This is lightning speed, and he's as fast towards the end of the challenge as he was at the beginning, Amy. Yeah, you can really see that he has very good control of the device itself. The, the interaction here between the human and the robot is uh, actually quite astonishing to watch. And the transitions from one task to the next are very, very smooth. He's really pushing down here. What a brilliant performance for Kim Angel Robotics Team 1. 3 minutes 49, the perfect 100 point score. That will take some beating. Not only was each and every one of the six tasks well performed perfectly, but the speed of movement with that exoskeleton, quite remarkable. Yeah, it's impressive. You can also see he's not even out of breath after all these tasks. 
Let's take a look at Mark Daniels from the United States of America here. Now, he's second in this race, and can he take second position again? It's looking good for... Oh, Silke Pan has lost a little bit of time, Amy. She's now 33 seconds off the pace, closes the door, and to finish her challenge again, she uses that backwards stair technique. 83 points, perfect score on the board, but she's just a little off the pace of Kim, who still leads for South Korea. But Switzerland surely are in the medals once again. Fourth four years ago. Has she earned a medal this year? Silke now just drains the exoskeleton and stops the clock. 4.40, 100 points. Just <laughs> off the pace. And that definitely ah ouais. has been in the medal. Incroyable. <laughs> Incroyable. Franchement. Wow. Magnifique. Ah ouais. You have to agree with the manager, don't you? An incredible performance, a big improvement on four years ago. Now, can Angel Robotics make it a one-two, or can Switzerland stop the clean sweep from South Korea? This is Lee, remember, the female pilot of the second Angel Robotics team, just coming to the end of her challenge. Perfect score on the board, but it's the clock that will settle the medals right now, and... A good, strong finish. Good technique, right to the line. Holds the focus, and there it is. 100 points, perfect score. Five minutes, 53. Just over two seconds off the pace of the winner. And uh, that should be good enough for a bronze medal. She's just behind Silke Pan of Switzerland. But Angel Robotics looking good for gold and bronze. Yeah, very impressive to see that all the exoskeletons and all the competitors have been able to complete all the tasks here in this final round. There you go. And this is Mark Daniel for the United States of America for the IHMC Robotics. This exoskeleton he calls Quicks. Not quite as quick as he wanted it to be today, but Mark has put in another. Superb performance, the silver medalist in this competition four years ago. Yeah, the exoskeleton is looking a lot smoother than it did four years ago, and I think also Mark uh, has gotten a lot better at controlling it. You can see that the ankle joint is actually working very nicely here to go down the uh, ramp. What? The IMHC robotic of the Florida Institute of Human and Machine has done Ooh, well oh, here. And I think uh, yeah, yeah. every one of the exoskeletons yes. smoother, better than four years ago. Oh, and there is the completion. Perfect score on the board, 100 points. 654, fourth position. But it is Kim from Six Korea who takes nice. top spot. Switzerland nice. second. And Korea with their Should female have, yeah. pilot, Lee, in the bronze medal now position. Now you can go fast. Fourth position for Mark Daniels <laughs> of the United oh, States of America. Go at it, huh? Yes, sir.